Hello! Since fall is right around the corner, I am inspired to give readings for the last quarter of our year 2016. Autumn begins when the sun enters into the tropical sign of Libra on Wednesday, September 22nd, 2016 at 10.31 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The significator card for Autumn, as well as for the sign Libra, is the major arcana card, Justice. We see the scales here in the picture as representing the balanced division of the equal amount of day and night. And with the sword here, we see that Lady Justice also is announcing that winter is soon to follow. Before I begin your reading, please keep in mind not all the messages given will apply to every person that you share your sign with. In such case, please consider watching your rising moon and sun sign in either the tropical or sidereal systems or whatever sign energy you identify with the most. Use your intuition. You may also choose to consult a professional for a personalized reading. So without further ado, here are your autumn readings. Hi Sagittarius, for your fall reading, I will be pulling four cards from the Thoth deck. The first card will be for the remainder of September from the first day of autumn through the 30th. The second card will be for the month of October. The third card will be for the month of November. And the fourth card will be for the first day of December up until the winter solstice on the 21st. In addition to the four cards for fall, I will also pull a supplemental message from the Oracle of the Grail Code deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. At the end of your card reading, if you wish to stay tuned, I will read the book's full explanation on that message for you. Uh, then I will pull an advice card from the playing cards. And lastly, I will select a card from the Angels of Light deck to see what angel is accompanying you for this fall season of 2016. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see what fall has in store for you. Okay, so I'm actually not going to be reading reversals with this deck this time. Okay, so the first four, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so for the remainder of September, something could have shaken you up with the full moon um, here, and I remember that we have a full, uh, moon lunar eclipse. Okay. It brought in a lot of crazy energy, um, where you feel like you're kind of being pulled in two directions. Okay. So all these arrows going this way and then this way. Okay. So you might still be feeling that for the remainder of September, you're just very busy and you're protecting all that you've really worked for here. Okay. So, um, you might be really sticking up for yourself in some way. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I just thought I would share that. Um, the nine of wands is really um, a lot of energy okay so you might be a little bit overwhelmed and um, getting a little bit tired here of uh, whatever it is is a lot of stuff that had just recently come in it looks like it come in came in all at once okay so you could have had a little bit of a boring period and then it just looks like bam all of this stuff on your plate now to deal with and you're like wow I I'm, I'm a little bit tired of this. Could even be like a repeat um, cycle or something from the past. It's coming back up that you're having to deal with all of this stuff. Okay, then you have another nine, which is a uh, nine of swords. <laughs> so nines are difficult because it's really heavy, intense energy. This one says um, strength d down here at the bottom. So you're really uh, maintaining what you have with a lot of strength and power. And this one says cruelty. And I don't want to put too much emphasis on the words, but just to sort of show you like the energy behind this, it's kind of difficult. This is like the nightmare card, the nine of swords. You have Mars here, which is also very aggressive energy, okay? 
Um, I do feel like since you have two nines here, it's the end of this. Okay, so this energy is it will pass soon. Okay, it's not going to last. It's the culmination of um, a lot of this intense fire energy and then the swords energy, which is just too many thoughts about whatever is going on here. It's like you really might be even overthinking it. I would go ahead and um, if you can just move on in your mind from having to focus so much time and energy because it looks like it could be kind of draining you to focus on whatever it is that you feel is taking up so much of your attention. The third card is for November here and we have the sun which is absolutely wonderful. Okay it's a good feeling positive vibe energy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of you have birthdays uh, in November. So we have the sun, which is representative of the solar birthday uh, time. So this is a wonderful time where you're feeling celebrated and you're just very happy. So you'd be very happy. You're hanging out with a couple of friends here, maybe just people that feel like family or some people that you really enjoy with um, that are your family members and maybe they could be paying you a visit where you haven't seen them for a while. So this is kind of exciting in November for you. Okay. Then we have the 20th card, which is uh, judgment in the traditional tarot. It says uh, the eon here, uh, which is an age or a cycle that's coming to completion. Here we have December, which is the end of the year. And um, this is kind of wrapping things up from the year, from the 1st of December up into the winter solstice. Um, I get, it's like, I pulled it until the 21st, this is the winter solstice, and we're getting um, card 20 here, so it's very much in line with days, even, it's kind of spot on. Um, it's interesting, there is a certain woman that's on your mind, if you're a man and you're watching this, there's a certain woman that you may find that she's a little bit elusive, or you might be kind of daydreaming about her, or dreaming about her in some sense. If you're a woman, I feel like um, two things. One, you could, um, if you're not heterosexual, you could also, that could also be applying to you, because I feel like it's sort of like a lustful energy in some way. I don't know why I'm feeling that uh, doesn't generally resonate with this card, but for me, it's sort of coming through as um, there's sort of someone that you might be sort of um, thinking about, okay? But if you um, are heterosexual, I do feel like there is a woman, um, like a spiritual woman around you and you kind of picture her as like larger than life. I do feel like you have a very high opinion of this person. Okay. That's a very specific message. It won't apply to everybody, but, um, there are some things that I'm seeing with this, uh, with this card's artwork here. You're also looking about how you can expand. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, I get it. Okay. So also, um, <laughs> since you had so much cake here <laughs> for your birthday and then you also have Thanksgiving. You could have also expanded a little bit, maybe like around the waistline and you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that much or I want to, how am I going to, you know, start my next uh, workout health uh, regimen. So I, I am getting that message uh, clearly as well. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing for the fall um, autumnal equinox for you. So I'm going to be pulling um, an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. And just gonna have a simple, pleasant picture. This is a kind of a, a fun deck for me to shuffle because it's so large. I feel like I'm a child, I have child hands and they're like huge, huge pieces of um, paper card cardstock to shuffle. Uh, let's see what's coming up for you. I'm getting, um, how do I want to cut the cards? This way. Okay. Guardian. Guardian. Okay. So again, I will read the message, but I'm definitely getting like Archangel Michael coming through here, the guardian, um, guardian angels. Um, you're guarding something. I do very much see that here with this like wand that's coming through all of these other wands. In this case, it's a sword, but guarding, guardian, it seems to fit that. 
Okay, also, oh, advice card first. Okay, so I'm gonna pull an advice card for you for this false season. It's a very unique reading. Okay, this card is facing the wrong way. Keep, I'm keep shuffling. Okay. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have here. Okay, I'm feeling this top one. Does it want to come out? Okay, yes, it does. Ten of Wands. Okay. So, like I said, this is going to be coming to an end. I'm very much drawn to this card. Uh, something really shook things up for the um, for that lunar eclipse okay but like I said it's coming to an end here so things have ended okay the burden has ended by the time your birthday rolls around I see you feeling a lot lighter okay um, so yes uh, this may be a difficult time leading up until your birthday but you're kind of over it um, by the time November comes okay can take on the responsibility of others. A guardian can also be like, um, you know, like a parent or guardian as well. And I'm getting like there could be like a parent energy that you have. Um, and it's kind of like, I feel like in some cases, children, if you have children, can um, be bringing up some sort of burden for you or like bringing in an issue that you weren't expecting to deal with and you kind of have stuff on your own plate as well. So, let's see. What angel wants to be with you for the fall season? Okay. Show me the angel for Sagittarius. 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 Rebirth. Okay. So, this kind of goes along with the the birthday here. Um, it says, allow the shift that comes when you release old beliefs, moving beyond limitations and former patterns into new perspective. Uh, perceptions and possibilities with assistance from the angel of rebirth. This angel helps you live in the now and move into the future unencumbered by your past. Become who you were meant to be. In okay, case so you're moving into, you're letting something die so that you can be reborn again. You're looking towards the future. So something it has ended, something will end here that's unpleasant. So just kind of stick through it. And um, okay, so that'll do it for the cards that I selected for you for fall season. If you wish to stay tuned to hear the uh, book's uh, message on this card, then go ahead and do that. So if you have any questions or comments about your reading, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to address them personally. Thank you for watching. Hi, Sagittarius. So actually reading the first intro about this card, this is actually uh, Joan of Arc. So she's in a full battle dress, appearing at your side to assist you in your current confrontation. Time is of the essence. You are needing to acquire the skills so that you can be your own best guardian. Too much of your energy, time, health, and or resources has been leaking away. Right relationship with protection is required. Do you feel drained and exhausted after spending time with certain person or people? Or are you skilled at setting boundaries at work? For you, excuse me, are you skilled at setting boundaries that work for you or is that unknown terrain? Perhaps you have been giving away parts of yourself that are rare, precious, and need to be held within and guarded from those who aren't respectful. Knowing what to share of yourself and what not to share is vital for you right now. If you are seeking guidance for whether a person or situation is right for you, the answer is only if you know how to establish firm boundaries and will make self-protection a priority. Okay, so I hope this helped clear things up for you and added something extra to your reading. And uh, again, yes, thank you for watching.